This is an energy producing magnetic converter. I got this DC motor connected with a belt. Got a, about a 20 pound counterweight on the shaft. Then I, this is my permanent magnet. I got a controller and it's not a permanent magnet. And here's my coil with my coil. Now <clears throat> the first test is going to be at about 10 volts. And I'm going to show that ward force is, is isolated from the poles because I'm not moving a magnet. I'm not moving a permanent magnet. I'm only causing the field to move. And right here, we're going to witness the backward motion because watch what happens. We're running about 701 RPMs. I short it out. Slows down. That's showing that backward motion. It's pulling back. All right. Now I'm going to speed it on up to about 30 volts. about 2269 I shorted out you see it speeding up the required input goes down it takes a little while for it to catch up because of that 20 pound counterweight all right no load it's slowing back down that's showing that I'm causing backward motion and forward motion by causing the field to move. Right here, motion is involved, so I've isolated that motion from the poles. This is why I call it ward force, forward and backward motion. 